Welcome to Deadly Dames and this is just a quick video with the pickups for this week. So I haven't actually gone as mad as I usually do. I've been actually trying to be really good with my money because I know that Comic Con's coming up and I want to be able to spend money there. So I really only bought things this week which I absolutely positively couldn't walk away from. So when Dark Souls 3 came out, I remember saying to my other half because she's a massive fan of Dark Souls are you absolutely positively sure you don't want the collector's edition and you just want the steel book? And she was like, yeah, 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 I just want the steel book. I knew, I knew damn fine that she was going to end up saying, oh, I wish I'd got this the special edition, the collector's edition. So um, I've been looking out for a decent price. It's actually been one of the collector's editions that I've actually never seen anywhere since um, since it came out. So I've been looking online for a decent like release of it that's not extortionate. And... This one came on eBay, this one here, um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was for sale really, really cheap because it doesn't have the game with it or the steelbook, which was perfect for me because I already had the game in the steelbook, so I picked up this one because I had absolutely everything else that I had missing, so I think it was the soundtrack, the figure, and the, the art book, so perfect. So like, needless to say, the other half is the static, finally got the collector's edition of Dark Souls 3. And um, I've learned my lesson that even when she says she doesn't want it, she actually does. Uh, also picked this up today. Couldn't resist it. I absolutely love that Mondo are releasing these um, vintage computer game soundtracks. So this is the Castlevania one, which is actually playing in the background just now. Lovely artwork uh, by uh, Becky Clunan. I think if I... She's done a lot of artwork for like the, the Conan comic books, but I'm pretty sure, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she designed Toothless. But if I'm wrong, obviously you can let me know. And what I need to look out for, because on this, in fact I'll just take this bit, on this it's actually saying that Dracula's Curse is going to be coming out soon, so I better, better look out for that, because uh, I know that Mother Half will want that. I also got a couple of things for myself as well, so I noticed this today, now it is DVD, um, but it's a special edition of it and I'd never seen it before, it was only £3 from Computer Exchange, so I couldn't say no, and that's Monty Python's Life of Brian. Inside it, you get, sorry, try to do this one handed, a uh, film set, I've already got a film set of Life of Brian, but um, it, it comes with it, so why not, it's a uh, collector's edition number 39950. Um, you also get a screenplay, some postcards, quite a few of them, and obviously the movie itself. I was going to upgrade my Life of Brian to Blu-ray, but I think I think I'll be quite happy with this special edition. So I'll set that to side. I got this one today as well. It was really cheap. I've been looking out. I actually thought I'd gone a little mad because I thought that I'd seen a steelbook of Clive Barker's Jericho months and probably about a year ago actually and then I'd never ever seen it again so I thought maybe I just made up that you can get this on steel now I'm pretty sure I've seen it on PlayStation 3 but I've seen the Xbox one today and it was only £2 so I thought why not <clears throat> now if there's anybody out there that's actually seen this TV series please let me know if it's good I was intrigued because it kind of looks like well I like I liked the idea that's on it like about the people being sent back to Earth after a nuclear war. I quite, I like that idea. I also quite like that it's got the 18 certificate because it looks it looks Hunger Gameish on the front, but obviously Hunger Games like 12, so you don't get to see a lot of what the violence you probably should have seen. So I quite like the idea of it being an 18. It wasn't expensive, so for the price, I thought I'm going to give this a go. I also managed to win this on a, a bid this month, which was uh, the steel books, the German steel book of Maggie. Um. I went on a bid, I, th I don't think there was one other person had bid on it and I just logged on to eBay and I became one of those annoying people that bid on something last minute and, and beat you out, but um, like beat you to the to the punch because obviously that person that had bid on it thought they were a sure thing and I jumped in like a couple of seconds before the bid finished so I became one of those people. Didn't mean to, so if you're the person that missed out on this I'm really sorry but it was very cheap and as I've said many many times my other half she absolutely loves Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I thought, why not? I got this one from Missing in Glasgow. I just nipped in. It'd been a wee while since I've been in Missing. It was about to close, so I didn't really get a chance to look about, but um, I quickly noticed that they had the steelbook of Daywatch. I love night watching Daywatch. Um, I know there was supposed to be a third one, and it never, ever came out. I've actually got the double pack of these features, but I never knew there was a steelbook of it. It is a DVD steelbook, but I just really liked it, so... 
thought why not. Picked up a new 88 Films, um, Retroactive. The storyline on the back sounds hilarious. It's all about time travel, but um, I kind of like that they're doing the MGM stuff just now, 88. So 101 was releasing quite a lot of MGM. And I know Arrow's released quite a lot of it, but there's sort of recently been quite a lot coming from 88. And I thought, well, why not? I keep saying why not. <laughs> really, why not? It sounds terrible when I'm supposed to be saving money for Comic-Con. And like I said previously, I probably, I knew I was going to do this, I knew I was going to go back into FOP and see what else they had from those uh, DVD network releases, so I nipped in. There was only two, but again, why not? But yeah, I picked them up because I hadn't spotted these ones before and they just looked pretty good, so I got Death as a Woman. To be honest, the cover drew me to it, and not just because there's a naked woman on it, just because it looked James Bondy. I nearly said James Bondish. That's a whole other movie. But, um, yeah, it just kind of looked at that. It looked intriguing. Um, I haven't seen it yet. But the back of it sounded really good. So I'll just flip it around. So I don't know if you'll be able to read that. But it's I've had a long day at work and I can't be bothered reading it out. That's terrible. But I had a horrible day at work, actually. So I'm going to reward myself with watching something good to cheer myself up. But the other one I got from Network was... Classic um, Christopher Lee, and that was uh, Circus of Fear. It's been a very long time since I've seen this movie, and when I seen it in there for three pounds, I thought, you know what, I have to get this. So I did. I noticed today actually because I quickly nipped into FOP because what had happened is I'd seen Castlevania in HMV, and usually FOP's cheaper than HM HMV, even though they're actually the same chain. So I kind of ran down to FOP before it closed because HMV's open later to see if they had it cheaper, but they didn't. So when I nipped in there, I actually had a quick peek at some of the network stuff and I noticed they've got new ones out. But I thought, no, I'm going to have to hold off until after payday and then go back and see if there's anything new there. And then last, but not least, I got the 13th season of King of the Hill. I love King of the Hill. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's amazing. So this is a, the final season. And I'm going to have a bit of a rant here because I like animated comedies. They're just easy to watch. When you've had a really crap day at work or you're tired, it's just good to fling on South Park or Simpsons or Futurama and King of the Hill and just have a chuckle at it. I love how uptight Hank Hill is. And I hate that Fox, or 20th Century Fox, should I say, aren't releasing The Simpsons anymore. And I know there's been like a million petitions and a million people ranting about the fact that they're not doing it. But if this can come out, from 20th Century Fox, and let's face it, King of the Hill was not as popular as The Simpsons, then surely they can release The Simpsons. It's not really fair to stop, especially in the UK. They stopped at season 18. So, nine, no, they stopped at season 17, I'm pretty sure. And then there's like 18 and 19 are missing, and then you can buy online like an American, but it plays multi-region 20, like season 20. It's pretty crap, though. It's not a very good um, release. Uh, the discs are very jumpy. If they can, I mean, why stop there? Just release the whole thing up to 20 at least. But um, I remember reading online and it was because they think that DVD and Blu-ray is a dying media and everything's going to be streaming well. You know something, maybe more and more people are streaming stuff, but I'm one of the people, and there's obviously thousands of them out there because I watch all of your channels, who like to have the physical disc. I like to have my Blu-rays, I like to have my DVDs, I just like to own it. I mean, I'll st I still have VHS. I love the artwork, I love that I don't need to worry that my computer could shut down I can lose all my digital downloads. Um, don't get me wrong, I do stream Netflix, because mainly for TV series, because sometimes it's not cheap to buy a TV series and you'll watch a couple of episodes and then think, well, that was a waste of money. Whereas you can watch it on Netflix and find out whether it's good before you actually go and fork out the money to buy it. But anyway, that's my rant over. That was aimed at 20th Century Fox, who I think um, should just release Simpsons. Just do it, because there are still people that love it. Otherwise, why are you still making it? So I think it's a bit of a kick in the teeth to the people that actually voice the Simpsons and to the fans that have loved them since... Well, they've been on going now for about 27 years. So people that are my age who have probably been watching it for the whole of their life, because I have, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth to them to suddenly say, ah, well, no, it's a dying meter, I'm not going to release it anymore. But anyway, ran over. That's everything I've picked up this week. There are a couple of things that are still in the post I'm waiting for coming through. I finally 
finally managed to uh, win a bid for Big Trouble in Little China, Arrow Video Steelbook. So I'd said I'm getting closer and closer to um, having them all. I've got a couple of 88 films on pre-order, um, a good few Arrow Video ones which will be due through. And tonight I'm going on to pre-order Shameless Screen Classics um, release of The Church. So looking forward to them announcing when they're going to be releasing the set because that's the one I'm really, really, really wanting because I own The Church already. It's not the best copy but I do already own The Church but it has literally been forever since I've seen the set. And the edition that I seen was terrible, so it's going to be really good to actually see like a remastered edition of that film. But yeah, that's everything I've picked up this week. And as always, if there's anything you want to chat about, um, leave me a message, I will get back to you. And uh, please like and subscribe. Take care.